Oh my god, Heidi, <laughs> finally meeting you in person. Nice to meet you. You are so famous in Android community. Nice to meet you at Droidcom Berlin 23. Uh, Please introduce yourself. I know people know you, but yes, let's, I, let's I, I, I'm surprised to hear that I'm famous in the, in the Android community <laughs> because I don't do any Android. Although now I have started to do some Android uh, applications. So yeah, I'm I'm Hadi. I work. I run the developer advocacy uh, team at JetBrains, uh, among some other projects, and uh, I've been involved in the Kotlin community since day one, pretty much. I will start with a fun question. Don't you miss Java? I never was a Java developer, so no, okay. no. I I came to Kotlin from .NET, so for me actually it was really nice because one of the things that kept me away from the JVM was Java. I didn't really like it. I preferred C Sharp, and then I started to get into JavaScript, and I like JavaScript as a language. I don't like it as much as a platform and the fact that it's a dynamic language, but I like the successness of JavaScript. Mm -hmm. So Kotlin was like the perfect kind of like balance there you know i had the statically type less verbose than java on the jvm and similar to c sharp uh, why the name is kotlin it was name or? it was based off the uh, island off of the coast of st petersburg uh -huh. so there was a there's an island called kotlin so java java island kotlin, kotlin <laughs> island. okay okay, okay. Uh, during your keynote, you mentioned KM and his dead KMP is born like a phoenix. So what's going on? I mean, the, the, the concept of KMM shouldn't have ever really been externalized. KMM was a little bit for us to focus on certain aspects from some teams inside JetBrains. And so it ended up like we, becoming a product that was saying, okay, we are in the mobile market, etc. But it didn't have the effect that we wanted. And so Kotlin was never about mobile only. Mobile is a big game in Kotlin, but it wasn't about mobile only. So we decided to drop the KMM and focus on KMP, which is what Kotlin has always been, multi-platform, whether that's mobile, iOS, whatever it may be. Uh -huh. So as a developer, let's say I want to convince the company, let's use KMP. Uh, I will bring on lots of nice things, but first thing they will ask is what are the challenges of using KMP at the moment? I mean, if you're an Android developer, there isn't really much challenge because you know the platform, you know, I mean, if you're working with Compose Multi-Platform, sorry, with Jetpack Compose, you know it as well. For an Android developer, there are much. If you're an iOS developer, that is the same as saying, okay, let me go and choose Flutter, or let me go and choose JavaScript, React Native. It's, yes, you have to learn a new platform. Now, the benefit is that, you know, Swift actually was announced a couple of months or something after Kotlin was announced. And uh, Swift and Kotlin are very similar in languages. Swift UI is kind of similar to Compose. So I don't think there would be a lot of challenges. And we, as developers, should not focus on one specific thing you know we need to broaden our horizons and technologies languages frameworks everything okay JetBrain is a ID company and then they introduced Kotlin for themselves and then people just loved it and start using it uh, with announcing the Compose for iOS in previous Kotlin uh, uh, what do you see uh, for the future of the Kotlin ecosystem? Uh, where is it going? Well, I hope it's going multi-platform and that's what we're seeing. So we're seeing more adoption of Compose for iOS. Uh, we're seeing uh, many libraries in, uh, from the community under the Kotlin Foundation also now with the support of the Kotlin Foundation creating multi-platform libraries so f as, and as I said in my keynote the future is multi-platform for Kotlin the reality is though that Android gets way more attention for multiple reasons one of them being that you can actually analyze Android application you know Google has access to Android to the Play Store to understand like what it what what percentage of we don't hear so much about server-side stuff. We hear about it from anecdotal evidence or, or as I showed in the graph that, you know, we went from 27%, 25% non-Android in the first Kotlin Conf to 73% non-Android in the first Kotlin Conf. So it is multi-platform. Uh, 
Uh, what are some of the most exciting or surprising things you have learned or experienced as a developer uh, advocate of Kotlin? For me, one of the nicest things is hearing people how they call in in some way has changed their life. Uh -huh. I mean, just now after the keynote, someone said to me, you know, I started to learn Kotlin. It's, it's changed my life. I'm really happier now. I'm, you know, I'm doing software development that I enjoy. And as a developer advocate, you don't often you get anecdotal feedback, right? You know, oh, I watched your course or what have you. And just seeing people adopt the technology that you are in love with yourself and advocating, I think that's one of the best things. Uh, stepping back from work and talking about lifestyle. How do you cool down at home after finishing the job? How do you spend your... How, I how try you and I try and play the guitar. Uh -huh. yeah, I, I've been learning to play the guitar for several years. Professionally? No, just, no. <laughs> yeah, just on, on YouTube. So, Can yeah. I enjoy your band? <laughs> yeah, I wish I could have a band. I wish a band would accept me. So yeah. uh, Do you suggest any technical book for a newcomer who likes to learn Kotlin? Well, it depends where they're coming from. So if they're coming from Java, then, you know, uh, Kotlin in Action is a good book. Uh -huh. uh, if they don't know Kotlin at all, then Atomic Kotlin also is a good book. Then there's Refactoring to Kotlin. Uh, there's many books. It, it kind of depends on where you're coming from. Then the, the right book is for you. Just, just for advertising your course, uh, you had a nice cutting course in which I was Yeah, in, in 2017 I did the O'Reilly, which yeah. I think was like eight or nine hours of course. Yeah, and people nice. are still watching it, so yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's a good beginning. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. And uh, that's it, thanks for your time. How Thank people you. can reach you? And uh, uh, Hadi at JetBrains or on Twitter, H. Habiri, one of the two. Okay, a any other things you want to mention at the end that I forgot? Just Try it and let us know what you think. We would love to hear your feedback. Cool, cool. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you.